Okay, I think we're back. I think we're doing it. Welcome back to Revishal and all that. Okay, so uh, it's been a little while since I played this. Last uh, last week I took the week off to do painting stuff because it had been a little while since I'd done that. Uh, but anyway, we're, so we're back with a little bit more of this. Um, I'm gonna have to find a way to make some more progress. I would say a little more quickly, I don't know. There's always a risk for me, I think, in playing a game that is super long, which this game apparently is, and it's been, and doubly so now that it has voice acting. I mean, um, the game has been amazing so far. I, I've been really enjoying it, but uh, it is kind of a situation where only playing it once a week uh, uh, is is making that a little bit difficult to to make substantial progress through this. Um, and I am going to be making the stream a little bit shorter today. Um, I, uh, I've been thinking about the you know trying to trying to progress my channel a little bit, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna try to limit streams to about three hours. I think that's a that's a good length. Uh, that people can hop in somewhere and feel like, oh, there we go. Oh, uh, people can hop in uh, halfway through the stream and find something you know to watch for a little while. But also, people starting at the beginning and watching the whole thing aren't gonna feel like, uh, you know, there's not much for them to watch. So, anyway, uh, yeah. So anyway, it's going to be a little bit shorter today, I think. Um, hopefully a little more focused, too, and I'll be able to talk about things a little better for a shorter period of time and not burn out by the, you know, four or five or six hours, seven hour mark <laughs> like I did with some of those things. Yeah, coming back to Disco Elysium. I've been excited to do this again. Um... There are some other games that I would like to do, but even so, um, this one's fun, so let's get going on it. Yeah, I, I've been, uh, well, the thing that I noticed more than anything is that uh, I start pretty late, I, and I know that, and that's a that's a challenge for me to start earlier. <laughs> I'm trying to do that now with starting at 9 o'clock. Uh, it, it's tough because a lot of things I can do later in the day, um, but uh, uh, viewership just drops off after about... I don't know, midnight my time, and that's totally understandable. <laughs> uh, but I, I was thinking, like, you know, especially for one of these kind of narrative games where you do kind of want to see the whole story, having to miss a whole bunch of it because I'm streaming at 4 a.m. is probably not a good thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to make these... I'm going to try to keep, keep these limited to about three hours. Um, and I guess that includes the indie streams and maybe even the painting streams, I think, for my own benefit. Uh, it may mean that I do more streams, which I think might be fun, too. Um, maybe some during the day, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out still. Um, but I definitely need, like, days off from streaming. I just don't know what those are going to be yet. So that's kind of why I've hesitated on doing another composition stream on a Sunday because I wanted Sunday to kind of be a, I don't know, a work day or something. I'm not really sure. I haven't gotten it all figured out yet. But anyway, let's go ahead and start Disco Elysium. <laughs> and with regards to where we're at in the story, we talk to the union boss. The union boss is a stunning representation of uh, bureaucracy, essentially, and that kind of character. Um, but let's see, where... Oh, what am I doing with that? I have my controller here. Um, okay, so what have I actually done? I've noticed something strange, which is that uh, endurance has gone down quite a bit. I don't know what that's about. It is below physique 
um, just five, even though I have pumped it. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Um, I don't think that's a super bad thing. Um, I like this entire row for this character, uh, so I'm going to pump this whole row quite a bit. And then uh, I think some of the ones down here want to get authority above three or four, maybe. I don't want it to go to like ten or anything. Um, but yeah, and maybe get some visual calculus, I don't know. I want to have enough to get by on some of these, but not enough to significantly uh, ruin story elements. Oh, and as far as uh, thoughts, what do we have for thoughts? Um, so I have decided we'll go, we'll, we'll tr I think we're going to try to avoid these. I don't know. I'm, I'm coming at this from the idea that this character is kind of a, kind of a Conan the Barbarian. He's a kind of a dumb, dumb guy that just stumbles on the right answer. <laughs> uh, and so he doesn't really care about what anyone else thinks. Um, but I don't know. I, I did come across a, a little, I guess I would call it a little bit of a spoiler about how it treats like the political alignments in the game. Um, and that's fine. And if I'm forced to choose something, I think I might actually have this guy kind of go fascist. Only because nobody else seems to be doing that. Uh, everybody who's playing this game wants to go uh, socialist for the obvious reason of, you know, that's probably the most palatable uh, of anything in the game. Even though, it, you know, obviously viciously mocks it as well. Uh, I want to get that... Uh, um, that tool off. Yeah, I don't need the flashlight right now. Oh well, whatever. I'll just leave it on. And I don't even know where we're going right now, so... <laughs> I think I think what was happening is I'm waiting for the day to end so that I can get the boots off the body. <laughs> uh, I would say relatable, except that I personally cannot relate. <laughs> but I do like hot cocoa. Oh, we dealt with this, these guys, and even though I failed the check, I didn't. I didn't manage to get uh, get the detective to kill himself. Um, okay, so what actually do I want to be doing? I've got to find the money. That's fine. Close the water lock tomorrow. Smoke around the balcony. Oh, that's late. That must be coming up soon. Sing karaoke. Uh, yeah, definitely want to do that. I think we're going to go uh, uh, no alcohol, but all drugs during this, too. <laughs> I think that seems like the, the good option, because the drugs are what give me... What was it? it? It was all the emotion stuff, I think. I don't remember. I don't remember which one. <laughs> um. Yeah, so there's a few things. I guess I can talk to Joyce. Uh, no, I can't. I'm still trying to find out who did the, uh, is smuggling the drugs and get some of their stash. <laughs> And Vine Morel, that's going to be across the bridge. Oh, Everard. Okay, we can talk to Everard. Oh, I don't want to talk to Everard, but... Uh... Yeah. Okay. Little girl in the fishing village down the coast. Hmm.
All right, who's this person? Oh, well, I've got a bottle. Uh huh? Are they interactable? I suppose not. The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod. Acknow you see a heavy steel door. Yeah, still can't do anything with that. So I guess uh, I'm just killing time for another two hours until I can make uh, Kim go to bed so he doesn't see me take the <laughs> take the stuff. <laughs> can I help you? Got the twenty real. Oh, do I give it to him? I suppose I do. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. How could anyone forget, asshole? <laughs> I really gotta find a tape to do karaoke. What is... Oh, that's stairs. Okay. Can I make him go to bed? Oh, right. Okay. I'm uh, every time I play a game, I play games in such a disoriented manner of like uh, playing it once a week or whatever that I completely forget the controls by the next time I do it. I have to re uh, 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 acclimate myself to the controls of the game. <laughs> the fan stands still. The bed is still cold from the broken window, and not too inviting, but it's yours. You've earned it. Oh, the ba bathroom door is broken down, yeah. <laughs> A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face... All of these are locked. ...with the expression. Kim also tries not to look at the pile of takes viscera on the carpet, <laughs> or the weird suitcase on the hat rack, or the potted plant dying in the corner. But it's all just too morbid to ignore. Mm. The man is finding it hard not to trip on the tape, and not to send any of the bottles rolling across the floor. Where unidentifiable sludge makes it hard for him to breathe. Smells of vomit in here. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. <laughs> or say nothing and nod stoically. I did it my way. I'm sorry for this. Or you're looking at the destruction. Uh, I'm going to say nothing and nod stoically. He takes a step toward the door like he'd like to leave. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I gotta take that bottle, though. Is it possible to take that bottle? I guess not. Yeah, the uh, controller support for the game is, um, well, not that fantastic, but that's okay. Come on, Kim, you know you want to turn in for the night? Yes. Nothing. I gotta find something else to do for the day. Maybe I was uh, too active. <laughs> Did too many things. I suppose we can talk to these people, see if there's anything else to, to say to them. I've got nothing to say to you. Why are you wasting your time? Nope. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Okay. Uh, nothing, I guess.
that's right we need to get that one guy alone uh, because he's the weak link in their group Now when it ooh there working class drunk you know what this means right <laughs> oh my god case solved <laughs> cracked it all in a good day's work wait what did i crack exactly what do you mean what did i crack look at how working class that drunk is uh, it's a future leader of the proletarian uprising. It's uh, some third option, or it's her husband, the missing husband. Yes. Yeah, let's try that one. And you found him. Now go and tell the working class woman. Protect and serve, recruit. Give me champagne. I'm going in. Or this doesn't add up. I'm only making a fool of myself. I'm going in. <laughs> there's no need for champagne when there's honor, recruit. Go and tell the working class woman what you found right now. I mean, I mean, he's right over there. <laughs> hey. God damn it, I already told you. My husband isn't missing. <laughs> but you said you didn't know where he is. And I specifically added that I didn't need to know where he was. Well, I found him nevertheless. That, I, I'm that good. Very well then. Where is he? Right around the corner, he has pissed himself. Uh, our hammer-toting comrade was at the bottom of those stairs. Or there. Uh, let's go with this one, because it's funny. Excuse me? I, I don't follow. There's something else hiding in her voice, though. A trace of worry. <laughs> I found a working class drunk, and I thought he might be yours. Right, because... Working class women come with alcoholic husbands. You know what? What? <laughs> I'm not saying what or something bad, I guess. I'm sorry. I say stupid things. I didn't mean to annoy. Oh, we don't say sorry in these parts. Uh, I'm not saying what. You were right. I do have an alcoholic husband. Although not that one. Ha, huh. Lamb. Knew it. Uh, but didn't you say your husband was kind and helpful, or so he's missing as well? All right, let's try that. I did, and he is. He's also an alcoholic. He's missing? No, he's not. Or maybe he is, I don't know. He's probably in the park, or in Shambrock somewhere, drinking with his friends. I haven't seen him for... Well, to hell with him! There. She's worried now. <laughs> We're pretty much drumheading this whole town. <laughs> I mean, could it be? Could it be that he's the problem? <laughs> Tell me more. So you're saying he's the problem? <laughs> uh, Kim, is it just me, or do we have a missing persons case here? Don't worry, I'm gonna find him and bring him back home, I promise. Uh, well, if he's with his friends, then he's not really missing. No need for the police to get involved. Don't take the case. Uh, sure, we'll do like the Samaritan thing. She sighs, but you can detect a slight hint of gratitude and relief from her face. All right, go ahead. Do you have any questions? What does he look like? Honestly, not that different from you. So let me guess, he's disco? <laughs> like a late stage alcoholic then. Right, we're dealing with a cop. What do you mean by that? So he's disco. Oh, thank God, no. It hasn't come down to this yet. Why did you say, why did you say your husband resembles me then? Well, he's slightly chubby. Wait, oh. Did she just imply that you're fat? You're not fat. The body type she's referring to is called a Franco-Nigerian hard body. <laughs> okay then. Well, I'm not chubby, and neither is your husband. <laughs> you both share what? 
Softly round, yet still in shape. Ladies dig it. I'm not sure about the rest, but softly round sounds about right. He's not in great shape. <laughs> what else? He was wearing a dark brown leather jacket with a bright blue inner lining. The lining is hand sewn. I made it myself. It's his cool jacket. God knows it's too cold to run around in this, but he refuses to change. Who cares about the cold when you have your cool jacket to wear? That's right. You can completely sympathize. <laughs> I even tried throwing it away once, but he just dug it out of the bin. Can you believe it? He took it out of the bin? Wow, that's filthy. No way. Well, if that jacket is really that cool, then I can totally understand. Well, what can you do? I hope that at least that extra lining helps him keep warm at night. I wouldn't like him to catch cold. She's thinking about him out in the cold, in some park, or on the coast. And it's making her more and more worried. Uh, when did you last see him? Yesterday morning. He went to the library. He went to retrieve my book and he promised, he promised, he'd walk straight back home. Because we talked about this. We talked about not wandering off again I, I don't know what to do I honestly don't know what to do with his addiction just makes me feel weak she turns away from you in an attempt to recover mm. I think I got it thanks so you are going to look for him uh yeah we'll do it thank you please do even though I'm sure he will return home by himself I'm still sure of that I'm sure he will too. When he does, would you let Precinct 57, Kim Kitsuragi, know? I will, of course, officer. As I said, it's probably nothing. Okay. Let's get going. I guess we gotta interrogate some suspects. Could you have kidnapped him? How about you? Could you have kidnapped him? <laughs> And we're, while we're at it, uh, have you done any drugs lately? Can we can we just drum and drumhead this whole town until nobody's left who hasn't done anything to to bother me, <laughs> and everybody feels miserable? Just an ordinary war. Nothing. Okay, it is now eight o'clock at night. Uh, I have to wait one more hour in order to talk to the communist guy. <clears throat> I mean, I might as well uh, talk to uh, Everard and let him know that I went in the building, even though um, I guess I was kind of planning not to. Like, I'm trying to limit my interactions with that guy, but... Uh, oh well, we can talk to some of these other people in the meantime. Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam, man. What's on your mind? What do you got? Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? Probably. <laughs> Do I have any cans to turn in? The tear machine stands in the corner. 
your bottles clunk into the 20 cents nice with us do you know uh what can i get um is this about the questions again because i don't really know anything uh does fred have a warehouse a warehouse i don't know maybe i don't really care what fred does Come on, give me something to work with. She looks up from under her brow. Fine. Frick doesn't have a warehouse. Just a little back room here. Okay? Okay. What about the drugs? A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. I forget which one is for, um, is for which, but I'm just gonna go ahead and buy Nosefet, I guess. Okay, here. I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. Okay, yeah, that's right. That's the uh, that's the one for physical. Uh, okay, then I need to know what the one for morale is, um, because that's the one I keep running out of. I guess it's not in here. Oh, I wonder if uh, that lady's husband is the guy uh, in in the Hardy Boys. There was this uh, lady over here too, I think. That we could talk to, yeah. We're slowly progressing the evening. Okay, we can't retry that one. Lowman, you caught me at an opportune moment. The awful weather keeps me away. You can entertain me with your questions. Did you just call me a lady, Harifa? Oh, well, aren't you? The woman's malevolent cackling fills the roundabout. Oh, no. I'm a lady that you are Javier Buenguerro, only in dreams. So you're not the driver? I'm only terrifying to small children and to those who used to know me. Uh, okay, why are you scary? Because they can no longer recognize the person I once was. Do you know who the female driver is? How should I know? Do I look like I spend a lot of time with the other camioners sniffing around? When I have my movies to go to. Okay, that's all I need to know, thanks. <laughs> we got our we got our pride hurt, and uh, that was it. Okay. And we killed five minutes. Is there anything down here? I guess not. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need more of those, uh morale pills i don't remember which one those are um that's probably the more expensive one <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and buy it right now because we're gonna need them <laughs> a small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles nasal sprays and blister packs it must be they the magnesium the Saint Baptiste pharmaceutics logo okay yeah I that's what Saint it is Baptiste makes you feel better or something well let's go ahead and get two of them okay here 
I hope Saint Batiste makes you feel better or something. All right, let's get out of here. There's a lady on the roof. We can't get to the roof yet. Well, I am stumped on what to do for right now. Um, I suppose I could go back to the pawn shop. I don't know uh, where to go next. Lots of people in here. Let's try going to the pawn shop and seeing if they have anything uh, down here for me to buy or use or whatever. Oh, there's something over here. What is that? between the size of a page a three page three girl Lorjan do something okay the boom boxes wait on the shelves and your boom box that gold and amber Harmon Walshi stares at you longingly with its tape real eyes okay so we gotta get that in order to do karaoke i see what's happening here hello hello let me know if i can help you with anything sure let me have a look uh, i don't want to sell the photo check anything the pockets Okay, uh, I think there's a little bit of a bug. Yeah, where I am not pressing the healing buttons, uh, but when I press left and right on the D-pad, it is doing the healing button things in the menu. I don't know what the deal with that is. That kind of sucks, because that means I wasted those two items, but uh, whatever, I'm full up now. I can pawn the dice that I just bought. Wow. Could pawn the photo. I bought that. Empty cassette tape. Destroyed in a fit of rage. Okay, well, let's pawn that. Yeah. I wonder if I should sell the postcards. I feel like I should try this again, too. That might be the that might be the thing to do now. Yeah, because I do have a lot of postcards, and it kind of seems like those might be the things to sell to get some money. Another right. time, perhaps. Well, let's get out of here. What was this thing again? A typical Martinez streetlight sits. Oh, Seven hundred. I want to buy the street light. Okay, no. I wonder if that's actually something you can get. I, I would assume so.
want to look at this and see if any of my skills will let me do anything with it. A rusting control panel with loose wires dangling out from the hole where an indicator light used to be and a mechanical lever sitting in the middle. This panel usually closes the water lock, turning it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. But there's a crashed Samaran butter sign in the way. Pulling the lever probably won't do anything. Pull the lever again. You pull the lever all the way up until the metal clicks against the contact pins. You hear a soft clunk, then nothing happens. Yeah. A spring brings the lever back to its original position. You still need to close the water lock to get across the canal some other way. Wasn't there a sign over there saying functionality will be restored on Wednesday morning? Yep, that's fine. Wow, I have not uh, wasted a whole lot of time. Okay, well, oh, cool. I mean, I guess it's going back to Everard. I mean, he's the he's the guy that's going to be uh, going to have a long conversation for me. some progress if I'm gonna shorten my stream a bit here here there was just this guy's booth oh that's it oh what's this uh-oh Uh, okay, <laughs> a member of the board, a living god, uh, is an organ of the great state organism of war <laughs> that also looks just like me or for himself. Oh boy. Well, this is the only one with a question mark in front of it. I'm going to go with that. That's right, Mr. Dubois. I see the socialist democratic fervor now burns in your heart, too. How can I help you today? Hmm. It turns out the strikers were being served an alcoholic brew. I stopped this madness. I don't know what that means, Harry, but I love it. <laughs> I love your initiative. Knowing you're out there keeping things running lets me focus on the big picture stuff. Don't even tell me what was going on. Alcoholic brew, stronger, stopped it, strike. I'm just going to let you surprise me, Harry. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Open the door. I'm very glad to hear that, Harry. One question. You didn't actually happen to stumble in and see what's inside the apartment, did you? 
I may have gone inside and seen a collection of racist mugs. I did go inside. Uh, Weasel had the flag of the old Revachal on the wall. Uh, the deal wasn't for me to go inside, so I didn't. Well. Um. I'm gonna, hmm, <laughs> it's either lie for the better of the situation or admit the truth for the worst. Uh, I'm gonna say I may have gone, I'm gonna, yeah. Just as I thought, culturally antiquated mug collection. What a weasel, pissing on Everart's rainbow coalition. Now let's get down to brass tacks. It's time for men like me and you to figure out who's killed who and why. Real police work is going to start happening now. I promise you, Harry, this is going to be good. Heard about a connection between the lynching and a strike. Like to hear what you know about it. Or the mug collection I mentioned was in the apartment. Uh, found a similar mug in the trash. Uh, I... Okay, so I have a feeling this is a setup. This is a red herring, but... Uh, so I'm not going to go with it just yet. Uh, because I kind of want to just let him talk. By now, I'm sure you've figured out who the dead man was working for. The bad guys. Wild Pines. Sent to scare us. Another violent measure of the top hats against us flat caps. I'm listening. Harry, this strike is the culmination of many, many mistakes made by the Wild Pines group. They tried to shut the strike down by sending in armed mercenaries. You mean our victim? A security contractor. Can you imagine that? Workers standing in peaceful protest, united in the spirit of fellowship, and they send hired killers to mow us down with machine gun fire. He performs a motion as if spraying bullets from a machine gun. <laughs> uh, there's I don't know how many but I know there's at least one real life incident of that happening <laughs> I'm talking beasts hardened killers from proxy wars in Yisut, Seminine, Sadamoritsa you name it they've done it raping, killing, burning villages killing little children for the Senorita Pineapple Company Harry everything they did there they brought over here they want to turn Revachol into a third world slum. Honestly, the only thing they didn't do is kill the village elephant. Hold on, you got a village elephant? Or go on, I think I've heard enough. Uh, you have a village elephant? No, Harry, the elephant is metaphorical <laughs> and so is the village. But the mercs and their brutality are very real. All right, Maybe that's yes, haven't, yes. Harry. <laughs> I haven't told you anything about the crime yet. Now, I haven't personally witnessed the brutalities out there. I have the luxury of staying in my container, you see. If I need to go somewhere, they just move my container. Okay, all right. Yes, I'm an old man, Harry. My legs aren't what they used to be. They lift my office with that big crane. It's actually very fun. You should try it. But enough about me and my fun container. <laughs> The killers they come all right I think there were three of them all hardened commando types one of them got downright suicidal getting drunk violent a little rapey even their own negotiator couldn't control him that's your boy the one who likes hanging out and trees by negotiator you mean Joyce Harry what you need to realize is we dock workers are not pushovers we got grit Harry this whole neighborhood does. Push us hard enough and we push back. And when we do, we push to kill. An entire neighborhood of killers. <laughs> uh, okay. Who exactly did the pushing? Or wait, the whole neighborhood is in on it. Uh, who exactly did the pushing? There's a militant wing inside the union. A group of people whose duties don't involve manual labor, but peacekeeping in the neighborhood, making sure everything runs smoothly. They're like you guys. Idealistic people who want to make sure bad things don't happen. And if they already have, well, punishment must follow. 
So these idealists killed our victim? Hmm. One day Titus Hardy, leader of this peacekeeping faction, comes up to me and says, Boss, socialist democratic fervor drove us to take it upon ourselves to kill this beast that was burdening the land. Uh, those are words much too advanced for someone his, of his low intelligence. <laughs> he probably worded it differently. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that the idea. Sure sounded to me like they killed him. <laughs> I gave them two weeks paid leave and told them to lay low to avoid retaliation. Aren't you worried we might arrest them for this? Oh, I'm not at all worried about that. These are not the kind of men who get arrested. They're Martin A's boys, tough and gritty. I'd like to see the man who takes them in. Besides, I sent my lawyer girl to look after them. If he's just boasting, then it sure doesn't feel like that to you. He's not worried. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a real uh well, you know, if you if you don't uh if you don't pay the union tax, then uh, I don't know, that construction just might not get finished outside your house. <laughs> Have to, we'll have to send a couple more people over there with their jackhammers. <laughs> uh, how do you know the mercenaries were hired by the shipping company? How do I know? Let me tell you about these people. That's their M.O. It's what they do. Last winter, some poor workers in Terminal E went on a little strike. The company sent in Sediment, a security contractor. The strike was over the workers' right to wear protective footwear, Harry. These guys turn up and start beating people. Tell you what, Harry, I wouldn't be surprised if we got the same mercenary company after a little rebranding. And I'm sure as hell not surprised to see an army of scabs under my gates. So you believe the scabs were organized by the security contractor? You said it. Hell, one of those guys looks big enough to take down that proverbial elephant. Boys like that don't just happen to show up during strikes. Is the elephant uh measure head? He's not of them. <laughs> if anything, he likes them being here. Mm -hmm. Strange. Uh you mentioned a lawyer. Oh, Liz is a bright one. I paid for that law degree myself, thinking it'll probably turn her all fancy. But hell, Harry, she came back a firebrand socialist. Sometimes she scares me with her zeal. Okay, tell me about Titus Hardy. Uh, I notice we're not getting a whole lot of uh, little check successes here. Oh, they are simply fine young men, all seven of them. Exemplary union members, always working to advance their position in the local socialist democratic movement. Core members. Old Theo used to run them, but things really kicked into gear when Titus took the reins and named the group after himself. <laughs> Gotta love his initiative. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Who's second in command? They're almost all of them great guys, born leaders. Whatever happened, I'm sure they only had the best interests of Martin A's and Revachol in mind. Work with them. Hell, interview them. But don't fight them. They really are just like you. Men who like beer, women, and some order on the streets. Oh, I don't think so. I, I, I don't think so about that. Separate one from the herd. Uh, we, we don't like beer here. We only like hard drugs. <laughs> uh, which one of Hardy Boy, uh, the Boys is your least favorite or better not to? Okay. Yeah, tell me. So that would definitely be Fat Angus. Mm -hmm. His feet smell from a city block away and he's always having noisy stomach troubles. Horrible, revolting guy. What if I were to pin this on someone and just quietly, oh. But let's say something happens to Fat Angus. Let's say a citizen's arrest. You would die, Harry. <laughs> you would die and in the process start a bloody and completely unnecessary war between the Debardes Union and the citizen's militia. Angus, his ever-growling stomach and his smelly feet are all part of the union. You have as much right to arrest him as I have to arrest your partner here. Actually, less. Because this is my hometown, my territory, and my backyard. You are a guest here, Harry. Please remember that. Oh, Harry. <laughs> this is getting real grim, and there's no need for that. We are friends. 
Okay, I met the Hardys. Can you ask them to cooperate with me? Ooh, don't want to do that, but okay. <laughs> of course. It's the least I can do for my good friend Harry. I'll do it right after we've concluded this talk. You can now go and tell Titus about this. See what he has to say. Also, Harry, here's five real. Wait, why are you giving it to me? I take it or I don't need it. I don't need it. Oh, I wasn't offering it to you, just holding it out there. But I'm willing mm -hmm. to share information. Was there anything else? All right, good talk. Let's conclude. Was it a good talk? I'm not sure we made much headway here. I was hoping we'd bust the case wide open. Heck, I even wanted to tell you what I really want to achieve with the strike. I don't know what happened, Harry. I wanted you to feel like Mr. Martin A's. And of course, I also wanted you to find your gun. But it's like I can't completely trust you. Yet. <laughs> yes, Harry. It's like I can't fully trust you if you're not a man of the left. I want to, but I just can't. He's been hurt too much in the past by men who aren't social democrats. I am not a man of the left. I'm a patriot of Revachal. You're right not to trust me. I take care of me. I'm a hustler. I grind. I'm a money engineer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? I'm more left than you are. This is another corrupt scheme, isn't it? I'm neither left nor right. Uh, I do what my heart tells me to do. Okay, honestly, he'd probably go with this one, but... Hmm... I'm a money engineer. I don't know. I don't know that he would say that. That's the only thing that stops me from saying uh, this one. All right, we're going to go with that one. Yeah. What does your heart tell you about your lost gun, Harry? Does it tell you to forget about it? Or do you think it wants to be found? I think it's lonely and cold. I think it wants to be found, <laughs> and I have a proposal for you. And what would this entail? Once again, I require nothing unethical or illegal of you. You just need to get two little signatures on this piece of paper and then mail it to my accountant in La Delta. Hmm. What are they for? I'm glad you asked, Harry. The Union is going to build a modern youth center in Martin A. It will be righteous. We're going to get those teenagers off drugs and on roller skates. Oh, nothing about that. Roller I'm not skates. about that. Drugs, Harry. You like this. Do we? There's a nameless little street on the coast with some old houses around it. Most people have already signed. I just need two more signatures to get this mission off the ground, Harry. Where's this place? On the coast, Harry, across the canal. There's a cul-de-sac there, a little village they're calling it. A gloomy place. You'll find it. I trust your detective skills, Harry. Water drips from the eaves. A woman looks at her freshly tarred skiff. There's a pair of cavalry boots under the fish in the box, and the wind howls like a vicious spirit. You're already pretty deep into this. What's a little more? No one can see you here in Martinez. Hmm. Uh, what will happen to the occupants? They are just gonna have to deal with the construction noise for six months, mm -hmm. and then they'll be living <laughs> like kings. Mm -hmm. Right next to a fancy new youth center designed by the best architects from Stella Marie. Heard that one before. Kim, what do you think of this? Depends. I don't think what we just got from Mr. Claire was very useful. But, he thinks, it's your call. As I said, it weighs on me heavily. But once we get really talking, well, I'm going to hand you the keys to Martin A's and maybe even help you figure out who's behind this killing. Sure. All right. Well, we'll ask them if we happen to be there. You bring joy to my heart, Harry. Such a pleasure to be working with you. Here. You need to get signatures from Isabel Sadie and Lillian Carter. The cul-de-sac is right past the pawn shop and across the canal. I hear there is some trouble with the waterlock, but they should fix it by Wednesday morning. Once you have the signatures, mail this to 13022 La Roca in La Delta. Then we can talk about your gun. 
Okay. Uh, all right. Let's get out of here. We have learned nothing, as expected. 